hey lights you are welcome back again to my channel thanks for stopping by again in today's video i'll be showing you how i made this diy earring holder if this sounds like what you love kindly watch to the end and don't forget to hit the subscribe button when you are done watching do not also forget to like comment and share this video let's get started The materials needed for this tutorial are net, you can use any color, then you need your fabric glue, your pencil, your rope, your scissors, your ruler, and your carton or your thick cardboard paper. This is a simple DIY and you can choose any size of your choice. I just needed something simple and not so big. So I got this um, carton and this is me trying to draw like a rectangular line. The essence of this is for me to get two squares in the rectangle. Okay, so I was just doing my mathematics here and this is looking so much like technical drawing. But it's easy, trust me. What you have to do is just to like create a rectangle just like this. Make sure it's very accurate. Then after creating the rectangle, you determine the center just as I have shown. Then you also get for the two sides. So as you can see, it's like I'm having two squares there. Okay. Now I'm going to determine how thick I want it to be. I mean the frame of the earring holder now. You can choose two inches you can choose one inch you can choose three inches depending on what you want so in a way whatever you do on the length side you also do it on the breadth side okay so that it will be uniform so if i took two inches below i will also take two inches sideways hope you understand so that's what i have ended up doing and i'll just be connecting all the points like so and i'll also be doing it for the other square such that i will just be having exactly the same shape When I was done doing all the markings, I began to cut out following the lines I drew. When cutting, please you have to be careful. So this is me just cutting out the middle. The essence of all this is just to get two um, pieces of the same measurement, okay? So I tried to mark that out because it was not really giving me what I wanted. But then I was able to find my way. Then after trimming, I also discovered that I needed to mark that part too. Just as you see me do. Here you can get something very sharp or you can use your razor blade. But me, I used my scissors so that I could cut the lines I marked there. Okay, hope you guys are following. You are just going to cut along the lines you marked. That's all. So whatever I do for this piece is what I'll do for the other piece. Look at me sometimes like all you want to do is run. Hear me out, hear me out. It's all the things you never show. At the end of the day you should have something like this more like a frame you could even be more creative by using a piece of wood to do it yes it's still going to be very okay but i decided to make use of this carton because that was what i could lay my hands on 
at the time of making this video so now i'm done cutting out these two pieces as you can see they are of the same um size I then wrap them up with my fabric. As you can see, the wrong side of my fabric is facing up. Just watch what I did here. When trimming your fabric, be careful not to over trim it so it doesn't become too short or too small for you to use to wrap up the cotton. Okay, so me, I just added like say half an inch to one inch to wrap it up. When I was done with the first piece, I repeated the same process for the other piece. This part of this tutorial is optional. If you want your earring holder to have a rope or a twine, then you can do this. Watch what I did here. I just determined the middle of that piece. Then I took about two inches on the two sides of the middle. Then I bore holes on the two sides. That's where I'll be passing the rope through. Okay. So like I said, it's optional. If you don't want a rope, then you can skip this step. But for me, I wanted something I could hang. So this is me just passing the rope through the holes I bore and then the rope is not so long, just something simple, okay? I then trimmed the excess rope. Also take note of the position of the knotted part of the rope. The next thing to do is to attach the net. But first of all, you need to apply glue. When applying glue, you need to do this generously. 
you need to do this generously when i was done doing this i just placed the net on it like that and when doing this you need to stretch it as you can see i was just trying to use my uh, fingers to stretch it out so that it will come out neat and after doing this you then trim the excess net when you are trimming be careful not to over trim so it doesn't become short okay so this is me just trimming the excess net and the next thing to do is to cover it up this diy is a no so diy when i say no so diy it means you don't need to have a knowledge of um, sewing to be able to do this diy with your glue with your carton with your leftover fabric then you are good to go so this is more like recycling your old cartons and also recycling your leftover fabrics so now i'm just applying glue to the other part of the cutout and i'll just be covering it this way very easy very easy make sure you press it hard can you see it it could also serve as a picture frame yeah i have something like that on this channel i also use the same pattern so we are almost ready so this time around i was just trying to trim any excess um, nets as you can see the earring holder is almost ready yeah it's almost ready because i had to leave it for a while for it to glue properly so after say like 20 to 30 minutes i started you know organizing my earrings you could as well add your chains because it's more like a jewelry organizer with this diy your earrings your jewelry can even last longer you too could try this out and let me know your experience in the comment section the beautiful part of this diy is the fact that i could even hang it and it even makes it more presentable if you haven't given this video a like yet please do so that the algorithm will be happy and if you are coming across this channel for the first time you are most welcome and i encourage you to join this beautiful family by clicking the subscribe button don't also forget to turn on your post notification bell so you always be the first to see my videos see you all in my next tutorial Bye.